What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Platinum card, whether it makes sense in 2022, and who specifically this credit card might be better suited towards. Now this credit card does come with a 150,000 membership reward point intro offer for spending $6,000 in six months. Um, it also does come along with a $695 annual fee, which is of the highest you're going to see on any publicly available credit cards in the United States. Now, this credit card does have the status of being one of the most elite credit cards that you can actually apply for, um, if not the most elite, with it being an American Express card and the Platinum being the highest tier American Express card. So this by itself does attract a lot of people. and. For good reason there are a lot of awesome benefits that can allow you to get really really good value with this card but if you don't make use of all the benefits you don't make use of the rewards it might not be as good for you but we're going to be taking a look at that today just to see who this credit card is really going to make sense for now we did talk about the um, intro bonus and the annual fee and the first thing i want to kind of talk about is the rewards point structure of this card um, which is really um Kind of limiting but if you make use of it correctly can give you really really good value that being the 5x points you're going to get on prepaid hotels and flights that you book through the american express travel portal so as you can see this 5x points um, is a really really good um, earning rate um, you do specifically have to book through the american express travel portal but for a lot of people this is extremely doable they have good prices so it's not like you're really getting screwed over there and then you are going to only be getting this 1x points on other purchases, which isn't really great, but um, the, the real point of this card isn't the um, earning you get on other purchases, it's the um, 5x points you're going to get on hotels and flights, and the other benefits that come along with the card. Now specifically, um, I want to take a look at the specific travel benefits of the credit card, because um, for most people, they're going to see this credit card as a travel credit card, and that's in a large part how American Express markets it because there are a lot of benefits that specifically benefit those who travel. And this is probably gonna be people who travel um, more than the average person, maybe a few times a year, but, and this is really where people start to see this value. Now, there is a $200 hotel credit, and it is a little bit strict, it's not like you can use it at any hotel anywhere, but it is pretty open, um, and for most people would probably value this at about $200. Um, if you are traveling multiple times a year, it makes sense how you could value this at $200, Again, $200 from this $695 annual fee. If you subtract that, that's going to give you an effective annual fee of $495, which is a lot more palatable for a lot of people, and um, I think it's pretty justified if you, again, are making use of this and it's not really um, making your travel experience not great. It's not You're not having to stay at a hotel you really didn't want to stay at. But again, something to keep in mind, it, it is a little bit specific about how you're going to use it. And again, this is something that if you're not traveling all the time, you might not make use of this hotel credit which is fine, you can still get great value out of this card without using it, but just something to keep in mind as well. Um, you're of course gonna get access to the American Express Global Lounge Collection, which for a lot of people is one of the hallmarks of this card, being that um, a lot of people who have it will be traveling a few times a year, being able to kind of step out of the gate area at the airport to sit in the American Express Centurion Lounge, um, maybe get something to drink, something to eat, and kind of be in a slightly quieter environment and again, this is why this card starts to make more sense for someone who's going to be traveling a few times a year. They're going to be getting value out of this every time they travel, not just one time. Um, you are going to get this $200 airline fee credit, which is, again, great if you're traveling a little bit more often. Unfortunately, it, it can't go towards a flight, but it goes towards things like a checked bag or um, if you purchased a refreshment or another in-flight purchase. Um, it would go against that, which is, again, something great if you're already doing it. And again... Someone who travels is probably going to make use of this a little bit better than someone who's not really traveling. Um, this $200 Uber cash, um, I see why they put it in the travel category, but a lot of people make use of Uber locally. You don't really have to be traveling to really make use of it. They offer Uber Eats as well as Uber just for getting around your, your personal city. And again, this is something for most people, they could probably value at about $200 if you already make use of Uber. If you're kind of having to force yourself to use Uber to get this value, um, you might not attribute it to that full $200 value, but again, it is still an option out there. And of course, this is again, something you don't have to make use of to get that great value out of this credit card. Um, you also get a $179 clear credit. This is awesome if you can make use of clear, if you do already make use of clear, it's gonna be something that really applies to people who travel more. However, um, it's something to look into. Um, and again, you don't have to make use of this to get that really good value out of this card. 
Um, you also are going to get a ton of other benefits, that fee credit for global entry or pre-check. Again, this is probably going to be something for people who travel a little bit more regularly, but um, it is still there and it's an option. And again, you don't have to make use of it to get great value out of the card. Um, you're, of course, going to get these other American Express benefits. You're going to get the um, Bonvoy Gold status, Hilton Gold status, um, no foreign transaction fee, these other great flight protections and travel protections, which I think are really valuable. And for a lot of people, this could um, more than pay for the annual fee of the card through all these um, values if something happened that was unexpected. Now, coming into the rewards, we did talk about the 5x points you're going to earn on the card. Um, and that's kind of the one of the hallmarks of the American Express system. If you are really interested in it, um, you can get really good value on a lot of different sorts of travel by making use of your points. But we're not really going to get too much into that in this video. Um, moving down towards shopping and entertainment, you are going to get this digital entertainment credit, which comes in $20 statement credits every month. This is something that's going to be a little bit easier to make use of if you don't travel. Um, again, if you're not making use of this credit, that's fine. You can still get good value out of the card. And I want to reiterate that these specific things, you really don't have to use all of them to get, and I quote, good value from the card. Because for some people, specific benefits might be just worth more than um, they will be for other people. Um, you're also going to get this Walmart Plus monthly membership. Great if you make use of Walmart Plus or you shop at Walmart. If you don't, again, you're probably not going to value it much. Um, you're going to get this Saks Fifth Avenue credit. Um, a $300 Equinox credit, which is awesome if you work out at Equinox. If not, um, like most people who probably get the card won't make use of this, but it exists if you ever wanted to give it a shot for a, a good discount. Um, a ton of other um, American Express benefits. And then, of course, um, you do get this return protection, purchase protection, and extended warranty. Um, and these, I think, are really valuable. And um, if you have an issue with a really expensive electronic device or something, Having these protections in place to kind of zero out the annual fee. If you bought a three or four thousand dollar computer and you had an issue a couple years down the line that wouldn't normally have been covered, and American Express is able to help you out and you get some sort of coverage that you weren't expecting, that could more than make up for a seven hundred dollar annual fee if your four thousand dollar laptop is suddenly going to be working again and you don't have to buy another one. So again, just something to keep in mind. This is something that some people might value a lot more than someone else. Um, some people might value it zero. Some people may never even think about using this while other people specifically purchase things with their Platinum card to get these um, warranty and purchase protection benefits. And of course, you do get a bunch of other awesome American Express benefits that come along with the Platinum card that you would expect for paying almost $700 a year to have a credit card in your pocket. So that was just a quick once over of the Platinum card. And you probably did notice that there are a lot of benefits of the card that are geared more towards people who are, that are gonna be traveling more regularly than someone who wouldn't be traveling. And this doesn't mean that someone who doesn't travel a lot can't get good value from the card. It just kind of means that someone who travels a lot might have an easier time getting value from the card, hence why American Express does market it towards the traveling demographic. Overall, it is definitely one of the top tier travel credit cards and just all around um, credit cards that offer you really great benefits that are available right now. And of course, if you guys do have any other questions about the card, of course, leave a comment down below and we will do our best to respond to it. Also, make sure to leave a like on the video if you did enjoy that, and subscribe for more videos like this in the future.